Today is special. We're going to introduce you to our four youngest of seven children. They got something that they want to say to y'all. Their ages runs from 17 to 23. First question. Nadia, please introduce yourself to us and tell us something about you. Um, my name is Nadia. Um, I'm 22, actually. Um, I like writing. Same question to you, James. My name is James. I'm 21, and I like reading. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki, same question. My name is Kiki. I'm 18. I'll be 19 next Friday. And I really love art and makeup and clothes and beauty stuff. Raheem, same question. My name is Raheem Usumbura. I'm the seventh child of the Usumbura family. I enjoy to play sports and having walks on the beach on Sunday. Awesome, awesome. All right. Great job on that first question, guys. Question number two. How do you feel about staying in the Gambia versus the U U.S. of A? Nadia? Um, I like it way better than America because it's more freedom here, I think, and it's a lot of more stuff you can do here. Instead of in America, in America, I feel like you're more closed in. Great question. James? Staying in the Gambia is more quiet and peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki, same question. Yeah, I agree with both of them. Like, it's more free, and I'm less paranoid here than I am in America. And I feel that I can do a lot more here than I could in America. Great. Raheem? Uh, no you, you want me to repeat it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Question number three. What is the best thing that you like about the Gambia, Nadia? Um, the best thing I like about the Gambia is... Uh, Mosquitoes? Uh, the people here are really friendly. Uh, I really like the people here. They're friendly. Yeah. All right. Uh, James, Matt? I happen to like the beach because... <laughs> it's hard to find one back in Tennessee. Where I used to stay. Good answer. Kiki? I agree. I really like the beach too. And my favorite thing actually is like all the animals and like the wildlife stuff here. Awesome. Just awesome. Free. awesome. Raheem? Uh, as James said, I like to go to the beach. I enjoy the beach side because you get a nice breeze. Around seven, six, seven, six o'clock, you can watch the sunset. Great answer. Great answer. <laughs> all right. Question number four. What is the worst thing that you dislike about the Gambia, Nadia? Uh, the worst thing I don't like about the Gambia. Um, people act like they don't understand when you know they do understand. I don't really like that. Okay. James, same question. I haven't been able to meet something I didn't like about the Gambia. Oh, so you like everything? Yeah, everything Good is answer. fine. Good answer. Kiki? Uh, I kind of have like two things that they're like in a tie. Uh, the first thing would be like how they steal so much from you mm. and snatch stuff. Yeah. When you know like they work hard for it. And the other thing would be like, I guess some, you can have those like certain type of people that don't accept you as an African. So mm. they'll think that you're like, oh, I don't know how to Two balls. It. Exactly. The white person. Two mm -hmm. I don't like that. Yeah. Me either. Raheem, same question. So you said, what do we not like about the Gambia? What is the worst thing that you dislike about the Gambia? The lights going off. The lights going off. Power yeah. outages. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you could be inside of watching your movie or TV show mm -hmm. and right inside, the, right inside of the show. Right. The power will go off. Right, yeah, I feel you on that one. And we're talking about that That's in an upcoming video, uh, uh, Bag Family, so stay tuned. Question number five. Briefly describe your social life to us, Nadi. Um, I have a pretty great social life here. I think I think it's pretty um, better than it was in America. I don't know. I feel like it's easier to find friends here. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Rashid, same question. Yeah, my social life here is fine. It's great <laughs> meeting friends in Sydney, Gambia. Good answer. Good answer. Inside also. Finished.
I don't want to rush you now. Do you have some more to say? No, it's finished. Well, well good answer. Good answer, Rashi. Rikita. Yeah. Next question. I, I mean, think, same question. Yeah, I feel like I became much more social than in America, and I came out of my shell much more. And yeah, I agree. All right. Raheem, same question. Social life. <laughs> That's no comment to? Yeah, okay, comment. no problem. <laughs> Moving right along. Uh, question number six. Well, this doesn't apply to Nadia and Rashi, only Rikita and Rahim. When we briefly returned back to America in 2018, did you notice anything different about America that you didn't notice before leaving and, and going to Gambia? I should go first. Yes. Uh, everything just seemed like so fake, like everything, the nicely trimmed grass and everything is just so perfect seeming because you know when you live here everything is raw and like not perfect so when you go back there everything is just i don't know and it also seemed foreign and like for Illusion. me have, yeah for me i've uh, lived there 16 years of my life like i don't know you would think i wouldn't feel like a foreigner there when i've lived there that long and mm -hmm. i feel like here is feels more home yeah. to me rather than america exactly good answer Raheem, same question. Uh, when we went back, I mean, before we came to Gambia, you could walk along the street and you'd see people on the road, right. walking around, communicating with people. Mm -hmm. But the time when we went back, when I was going to the store, I ain't seen no one on the road. Different. It was completely empty. Everyone was exactly. indoors. Mm -hmm. You couldn't see anyone. It's yeah. so much more boring there. Everyone here is so live. Yeah, 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 yeah true. It's true. We yeah. like meet people outside drinking a tire. And they know how to party here. Yeah. In America. <laughs> okay. Are you finished, Ryan? Yeah. All right. Next question, number seven. And by the way, guys, there's only a nine question interview. Question number seven. Have you been able to find friends here, Nadia? Yes. Okay. A lot. A lot of friends? Mm -hmm. You can elaborate on that or that's it? Um I don't know, it's like when you're here, they know that you're not from here, so a lot of people are drawn to you. So, I mean, it's... Is that more male or on the female both. side? Both. Both sides? Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's good. Rashid, same question. <clears throat> it's been easy to meet friends. Good answer. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> Rikita, same question. Yeah, I agree with what Nadia said. Like, it's, I feel like it's much easier, like... Like in America, I felt like I was the one that have to go out and find friends. It was much more like that in America, but here they come to us, like she said, because they know that we're not from here, so they notice it's something different. Mm. So yeah, it's much easier finding uh -huh. friends here. Good yeah. answer, good answer. Raheem, same question. Uh, I mean, I have a high charisma, so for me, going out to meet people is really easy. So anywhere, basically, I'm gonna have new friends. You gonna find new friends? Yeah, I'm gonna find new. Good deal, good deal. And guys, by the way, now before we get to uh, these last two questions, I want y'all to know that this is going on YouTube. So, the rest of your life, this vi this video will be floating out there in circulation, so somebody can grab it up and say, "What was Uncle James like?" Or Auntie Kiki? Or, you know what I'm saying? This video is gonna be out there, guys. All right. Okay. Let's proceed on to question number eight. How do you feel? about your parents building you a two-bedroom apartment at Bag, Nadia? Well, I mean, I'm grateful for it. I mean, a lot of people's parents usually, I guess, don't really take as much care as you. My parents have taken care of me. You understand what I'm saying? No, yeah. I do, I do. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Rashi, same question. I'll be grateful for it. No, how do you feel about your parents building you your own two-bedroom apartment at the land or bag? It'll be fun. Be fun? Yes. Good answer, good answer. Rikita, same question. Mm, yeah, I feel the same. I'm grateful as well. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, no, no comment then, right? I don't know. Okay, with well, no problem. Raheem, same question. I kind of feel like uh, it's the next step of the next step of us not living with y'all. <laughs> okay. That's right. The, the the land is big enough, so that's yours. Now, I mean, you do with it as you like. All right. Uh, 
Last question, guys. Question number nine. What do you expect the future to hold for you here, Nadia? Um, no comment. No comment. Good answer. Rahi, excuse me, Rashid, same question. Hopefully some blessings in the near future. Good answer. Inshallah. Good answer. Rakita, same question. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, hopefully just good stuff in the future. And I'm just excited to see what's going to happen out with bag. Good answer. Good answer. Raheem, same question. Uh, hopefully you find me with a lot of money real soon. All right. Good answer. Now, guys, this concludes the nine questions that we have for you guys during this interview. All right. Now, bag family, we hope that you enjoy meeting our bag family. When you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, share with a friend, comment, and subscribe. Our next video will cover celebrating our 28th anniversary in the Gambia. Right, family, you know how we end the video. Love, Love peace, soul.